Hello. When you want to change the filament in your printer and you don't have a uh, filament runout sensor to notify you if it should run out and it gets low, and you have the new Marlin firmware installed in your uh, control box, here's how you change the filament. Once the filament gets really low and you're ready to stop it, come over to your control box, push the button, go down to tune, go to the very bottom to change filament, hit that button, and it will retract the filament, it will beep, and then it will let you know that you can put the filament back in, which I'll do that now. I just wanted to show you on the screen close up what it looked like. So let me set the camera down here and I'll show you that. And while I'm showing you that, you're gonna, I'm going to mess up and find the wrong screen, but I'll eventually get there, but well, that's perfectly normal. If you find the wrong screen, you just got to go back to you find the correct one. Anyway, let me set the camera down right here and I'll show you what steps I took. It's had me a little concerned, you know, this print I've been doing now has already been going for like 68 hours. I don't want to lose the print and have a problem. And I don't want the head to drop down to the bed or bump the print, so I'm hoping everything goes as planned. So here's a little video I put together for those people that aren't quite sure if the firmware, you know, what's going to happen with the new firmware if they try to change filament, if you have any kind of concerns. I couldn't find a video on it that really explained it, which is very basic, but this is what I came up with, so here you go. Hey guys, just thought I'd do a video on changing my filament on my CR10. It has a new Marlin firmware on it, and I'm into a 68 hour print. So, I'm going to have to get this changed right away. Got to get the new roll up there and get this going. here and get it situated. So when I pause the print, anyway the new Marlin firmware it has an option on it to change filament so I'm going to do that here in just a minute and then I'll get it swapped out with a new one. So then let's try it out and see how it works. Go down to control, go down to filament, that's not it. Go to motion. Back up the main here, I'm not sure where it is. Change filament. It's backing itself out right now. It says print pause, waiting for filament to unload. Okay, the old filament out. New filament going in. Get the excess off the nozzle. Press the button to continue. Resume print. And that was simple, so no problems whatsoever. 
I've been dreading doing it. I didn't know if the head was going to draw the drop down to the bed, if it was going to screw up or what, but that's pretty simple. So, anyway. <laughs>